this is Molly with my second installment of the Ultimate New York City Books Tour. Today I'm taking you through iconic Midtown Manhattan to visit all the bookstores between 14th Street and 59th Street. In the description below will be a map similar to the maps from my other videos and links to every bookstore's website. All of these bookstores require a mask for entry and many have capacity limits, so you may need to wait in line to enter, especially on weekends. You can also support these bookstores by shopping on their websites. Just so you know, I filmed all of this during November 2020 and December 2020. Without further ado, let's get started. Our first stop is Postman Books in the Chelsea Market. They have five locations on the east coast of the United States with two locations in New York City. Their selection is mainly new fiction and classics with some unique stationery and office objects. Their other location is inside Rockefeller Center, but that one seemed to be closed when I visited, so definitely come to the one in Chelsea Market if you want to check it out. Next up is 192 Books on 10th Avenue. They opened in 2003 and carry literary fiction, works in translation, art and photography, film, poetry, music, history, biography, natural history, science, current affairs, and books for children and young adults. They also host author readings and a weekly story hour for children at 11 each Wednesday. Check out their website for upcoming online events and updated staff pics. Our next stop is the main location for Printed Matter. In the last episode of this series, we visited their other location in the East Village. This location, according to their website, is located in the heart of the busy Chelsea Art District, surrounded by hundreds of galleries, arts organizations, and fellow arts nonprofits. With well over 100,000 visitors annually, the active street level storefront offers a glimpse into the thriving state of contemporary artists' publishing featuring artist books, zines, posters, prints, multiples, audio works, and a broad selection of out-of-print material. In addition to being packed full of unique publications, we host an array of programs and events on a regular basis. From rotating exhibitions and window installations to events such as book launches, talks, and performances, there's always something going on at Printed Matter. The shop also holds the nonprofit offices where small staff works on various services in support of book artists and can always help you find what you're looking for. Printed Matter is fully wheelchair accessible. We have two lifts in the store, one for the front steps and one to access the mezzanine. We constantly check in material and have several hundred new titles available each month. So visit often and see what new titles we have in stock. If you're interested in coming here, be advised, we are now open for browsing and online order pickup. If you would like to make an appointment or schedule a time to pick up your online order, please email visit at printedmatter.org. Chelsea's history of artists in the neighborhood dates back to the opening of Hotel Chelsea in 1884, which at the time was New York City's theater district. After the Greenwich Village Stonewall Inn raid of 1969, Chelsea became a welcoming neighborhood to members of the LGBT community. Chelsea offered cheap rent in large loft spaces, especially compared to the tiny and crowded Greenwich Village neighborhood during the late 1960s and 1970s. Even though the neighborhood has become more expensive today, it is still an epicenter of modern art within New York City. There are still over 350 galleries within Chelsea today, and it continues to be an important part of the art world. Bookstores like Printed Matter continue to promote this. Heading towards Union Square is Books of Wonder. They were founded in 1980 and they have two locations throughout the city. They carry kids' books including new fiction as well as vintage, old, rare, and collectible editions. Check out their author events, readings, and book releases on their website, which are all virtual. There's also a Barnes & Noble across the street from Union Square and one on 5th Avenue. Just a little north of Madison Square Park is Rizzoli Bookstore. Originally opened in 1964, they've moved locations a few times throughout its history. 
According to their website, their collection of books is specialized in illustrated subjects, fashion, interior design, art, architecture, photography, design, and literature in Italian, Spanish, French, and English. They have a great selection of travel books, new fiction, new nonfiction, classics, kids' books, and stationery. They can gift wrap your books free of charge. Check out their website for upcoming virtual events, online orders, subscription services, and custom library curating services, which is super cool if you ask me. Tucked into vibrant K-Town is Choreo Books. They opened over 30 years ago and they mostly sell books in Korean, from fashion to cooking and crafts, new fiction releases, magazines, and Korean translations of bestsellers that are in English, as well as Korean to English dictionaries. They also sell K-pop items and stationery. Apparently there's also a tea room on the second floor, but obviously that's closed. Somewhere in this building in Murray Hill is B&B Rare Books. After walking up five flights of stairs, I couldn't find it anywhere, but they have a website if this interests you. There's an Amazon Books across the street from the Empire State Building, and there's also one in the shopping center at Columbus Circle. Across the street from Bryant Park is Kino Kunya USA. They are a Japan-based bookstore with over 800 locations worldwide. This location has three floors, including books in both English and Japanese. They carry new fiction and non-fiction, children's books, travel, manga and anime, magazines, stationery, and everything in between. I always find something new whenever I come here. The Drama Bookshop was on West 40th Street near the New York Times building. Sadly, they were closed at the time I went in, and I couldn't find their storefront anywhere. Apparently, Lynn manuel Miranda recently became its new owner. According to their website, they will most likely reopen this fall at a new location. Check their website for updates. Stop by Book Off on West 45th Street. They are Japan's largest chain of used bookstores. You can find anything from fiction to non-fiction, manga and anime, DVDs, video games, and more. If you want to sell your items here, you don't need to make an appointment, but remember to bring a state-issued ID or a passport with you. While you're walking down 5th Avenue in the area, take note of the Scribner's and Sons building, which is still in existence today. They have published famous authors like F. Scott Fitzgerald. Head over to Swanky Madison Avenue and pop into Bauman Rare Books. Founded in 1973 with three locations throughout the U.S., they buy and sell rare editions of books including first editions, autographed and signed books, and much more. Check out their website for more info. Quest Bookshop is your go-to bookstore for books about spirituality. They've been around for over 40 years and they also offer readings. Check out their website to see the reading schedule for who is available and what they specialize in each week. And last but not least, and possibly one of my favorite bookstores in the city, is the Argazi Bookstore. They are a family-owned business founded in 1925 with over 60,000 old, rare, and out-of-print books to choose from. They sell fiction and non-fiction, but they specialize in Americana, modern first editions, autographs, art, photography, and antique maps and prints. You can also sell your rare books to them. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the second episode in this series. If you like what you see, hit that like button, and if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. 
Stay tuned for the next video in this series where I will be showing you all the bookstores in Uptown and Upper Manhattan and the Bronx. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye!